This year's Sea Airspace 2024 Exposition put on by the Navy League served a lot of purposes. It was a chance for America's maritime leadership to talk about where their respective branches are and where they're headed. It was also an opportunity for all kinds of companies to build relationships with potential government buyers. One such company that caught our eye was Ghostworks Marine. The boat maker, based in Holland, Michigan, is bringing their extensive history in high-performance yacht racing to the military space. And they think their latest products, the GT-34 Powercat and its slightly smaller sibling, the GT-24, could be big players for America's special forces. On the outside, the GT-34 looks like a very modern center console boat, but it's what's underneath that takes this vessel to the next level. Both our M-Hall line and our GT line look to um, capture bow wake energy as opposed to fight it, right? So when our boats push through the water, we actually push the water up and back and it spins in the tunnels underneath, right? So it creates hydrodynamic lift across the entire hull form and we lift out of the water and, and, and go for a run. So we're not fighting the water, uh, we're, we're using it to actually lift us up, uh, which drastically reduces drag, which gives us much higher speeds. It's called the M-Hull, and Ghostworks says increased speed and fuel efficiency are where the benefits of the design begin. The real payoff is in the ride. So now that we're out on the water at cruising speed at about 35 knots, one of the things you really notice about this Ghostworks boat is just how smooth of a ride it really is. By making a smooth ride, any platform or sensor that's mounted on top of the boat is gonna perform better. It's also gonna lower the wear and tear on the operators themselves. Ghostworks Director of Operations, Patrick Coughlin, says the hull design reduces the wave slap impact on operators by as much as 60%. What we've seen is when we talk to operators and small boat guys especially, is they're hurt. They're, their lower backs are, are, are damaged, their knees are hurt, their ankles are tired. If you go out on a two, three hour patrol or insertion, then you're expected to do your mission. Then you gotta do another two, three hours home on something that's effectively a, a workout in itself. Um, they're just exhausting. Of course, the only way to know how smooth that ride really is, is to take one. So that's what we did. On a beautiful spring day, we headed out to the Potomac with the Ghostworks crew aboard the GT-34 Powercat. Through its unique application of racing tech, Ghostworks says it can meet immediate military needs. Why did it take so long to combine all of these many factors to make one boat that has it all and that's so efficient? I think people are resistant to change and there's stuff that's tried and true and you really know how it works and this is developmental. So it takes a certain person or a certain application where they're like, we, we want to go that way, we want to see. Okay. You know, because there's some, some inherent learning curves that you're going to have to assume. Another selling point for Ghostworks, customization. You could build whatever type of cabin you need on it. We can carry lots of weight and payloads. Um, but you're going to have the exact same ride principles and the exact same control capabilities and the smooth ride that you know, you're experiencing out on the water today, you're going to have regardless of how you want to config the top. Something else that really helps set Ghostworks apart, time. According to the company, most builds only take six to nine months to complete. Lastly, a quick thank you to Sidney Cleaver for getting us on the GT34 and to Todd Meyer, the captain and man responsible for getting us up and down the Potomac safely.